<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. Huge day today. Trips to the three, four op shops. The weather is absolutely atrocious, but that's okay. We're going to have a really good day. I'm going to get into the first one. I'm going to show you what I find, show you what it goes on to sell for on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. If you are here for the very first time, welcome. I do this every single week on a Thursday, you, me, op shopping, and hopefully I can bring you some thrifted heat that we can go on a resell. Uh, hit the like button. It's a great way to support the channel. It's also a great way to wish me luck for the thrift ahead. I'm going to get going. I'm going to be there in about 20 minutes. Be there for 9 a.m. And um, yeah, fingers crossed we can find some cool stuff. We'll see you in the thrift. Let's do it. I'm trying to guys we are off and racing first off shop of the day in the bag and i've come away with a couple of cool things so let's get into it um the first one that i've got for you is a pair of mickey mouse high top shoes now these are mickey mouse disneyland hong kong and i've paid seven bucks for them so don't tell me these aren't going to go for about 40 bucks on ebay because i'm pretty sure once i've given them a clean that's exactly what will happen found another book as well there's a couple of books in here that i want to show you the first one is a collection that I found, which is Tom Gates. So there's nine books in here for Tom Gates. Personally, I hadn't heard of this series before. Um, I have paid, I think, $5 in the end. The lady that I go into here always looks after me. So I have had a reduction in cost. They were charging me $10. There's a tag there for 10 bucks, as you can see. But in the end, I think I've got these for about five. So. Look, I think this is going to go on to sell for about 45 bucks from what I've seen on eBay, paying $5 for it. Um, you know, I think there's going to be at least $20 to $25 worth of a profit when this one's all said and done. So that was really good. Uh, another one in the books as well that I thought I'd have to do here because there were some really good comps and they are incredibly heavy. So postage is going to be a bit of a burden for me. Um, but here we are here. So Time Life uh, books and there are 12 cookbooks here. Now on eBay, there was a set of 26, which is the complete series. These books were going for $250. I'll try and find that comp and put that here for you, but I have seen some comps that were sort of around the $150 best offer for around 12 books. So having 12 myself here and having paid $2 a book, I've spent 24 bucks and I'm gonna try and sell them for minimum of $100 uh, plus postage. So postage is probably with the weight gonna be about 30 bucks, maybe 20 bucks, I don't know. So I'll go maybe $25 postage and $100 and see if we can't get a full $125 for that book set, having only paid 24 bucks. Then I stepped into the DVDs, guys, and the DVDs have done very, very well for me to start the day. Um, I've been able to find Parks and Recreation. Now, one thing that I wanted to talk about here with Parks and Recreation, while they were all $2, I've ended up paying just a dollar for them, so I'm super stoked about that. It's not a complete series. I've got seasons four, five, six, and seven. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump onto eBay and I'm gonna buy for around the $5 price point, one, two, and three. Now, if I do that at $15 for those three seasons, plus $4 here, I've been able to spend $19 to get the entire series. And if you can sell Parks and Recreation on eBay as a complete series, you're talking upwards of $70 to $80. So I think it's well worth my time to get the remaining set off eBay. Uh, I'll tell you what I have found a full set of, and that is the TV show, Chuck. So I've been able to find this TV show with every single episode, all discs, and CDs are in there. So super stoked about that. It's PAL Region 4. We're happy days there. That goes on to sell for about 50 bucks. 
Um, found some Hogan Hero DVDs as well. They should go on to sell individually, I would dare say. And then I've also been able to find Burn Notice as well out of the DVDs. There it is there. So what have we got? Seasons uh, two, three, four, five. So there is five seasons worth of Burn Notice. So I'm going to go ahead on eBay and I'm going to buy season one to make that a complete set as well. I've only paid a dollar each for these guys. So I'm only $4 in, even buying it on eBay at a cost of 5 or $6, I'm still going to be well and truly in the profit where I can sell a full set. So the DVDs have absolutely come through with the goods for me. There's some kind of cool books in there. Look out for Tom Gates when you're in the thrift. And if you can find the cookbooks as a complete series, Time Life obviously being a good one, that's a pretty good get. And standard always with the shoes. Um, oh, one thing, guys. One thing that I forgot to mention. Have a look at this. This is the Justice League DVD set that I've been able to find here. Now, this seems to be a bit of a collector's item. I've had a look on eBay, and there were some that were selling for upwards of $100. So I'm super stoked to grab this for $10. Um, in the end, I've paid just $5 for it. She's given me a fantastic discount, but um, that was just hiding in there. So I figured um, with every single CD in there, have a look at that. I thought that was really cool. So hopefully somebody can uh, nab that one off me for 100 and we'll be doing uh, pretty well. So that was it, guys. Op shop number one all wrapped up. Let's keep moving on. Op shop number two, if it could be just as good as this, we're in for a pretty good day. Let's keep moving. Boy, oh boy, guys, op shop number two has really come through with the goods here. I've been able to find $105 worth of a spend in this op shop, and I've come away with some really good items. The first one I'm going to kick you off with is this Guitar Hero guitar for the Xbox 360. Now, these things go for about $75 on eBay. I do have the box as well, so that might get me a few more dollars. But the best part about it was there's actually two of them, as you would have seen there in the clip. So I've got two. One is an Aerosmith, but they are both Les Paul guitars. And when you look at them on eBay, they go for $75 a piece. So I've paid just $10 each for those. So $20 into $150. Find the Nintendo Wii or the Xbox 360 Guitar Hero guitars, because they go for some seriously good money. Um, the dude was actually just rolling by in the trolley. He'd only just received them into the shop before I got my hands on them. So I was super stoked there. I've also found this Sony uh, cassette player as well. Now I've paid $15 for this. Um, he's generously given me a uh, cassette tape for it as well, just to make sure it works. But um, there it is there. I've paid $15 for this one. Need to do my comps on it, but I've got no doubt this one will probably go for upwards of about $75. Um, so I might be in, in the profit of about 30 bucks when that's all said and done. Um, so I thought I'd grab that one as well. Oh shit, I hope I haven't broken that. Um, now, I've got some DVDs. The DVDs were going really, really well for me in there. I've been able to find, if you can see there, Bewitched, and I've got a pretty much a complete season. So I've got seasons one to seven of Bewitched, and they were all a dollar each. So seven bucks for seven seasons worth of that TV show. That was an awesome get. Um, I've also been able to find Will and Grace as well. Um, now I've got, I think every season, I've got seasons one to seven of Will and Grace there. So these are region four DVDs, so they're gonna work in Australia fine. Uh, again, another dollar for those. So I'll pinch them off the shelf. Another one for you guys to look out for in the DVDs, guys, is Lizzie McGuire. Now you would have seen it in the clip there, but I've got a stack of Lizzie McGuire DVDs here. I think there's 10 all up. Um, but there they all are there. Lizzie McGuire, I've checked region four. I've checked to make sure all the discs are in there. They are. I've paid $10 for these. I think they'll go on to sell for about 50 bucks. I think all of these seasons, I think Will and Grace, I think that, uh, and I think Bewitched as well, that should be about 150 bucks. There should be 50 a piece on all of those. So with the Guitar Hero, that's 300. With the cassette player, that's about $350. 
And then I've also found some old school wrestling DVDs, which I've really just taken a bit of a stab up here. I've got Mick Foley, I've got uh, Royal Rumble as well, um, Beyond the Mat, an old school 1999 DVD, John Cena and Bloodbath as well in the uh, the WWE, WWF DVDs. So look, a dollar for those, I'll bundle those up. I, I always like to do bundles wherever possible. Um, you always get a few more bucks. And then just finally guys, there were some wicked shoes in there as well. I've been able to find these Zebra Print Adidas. Uh, these are the NMD R2s, I believe, and they were in really, really good condition. I think I've paid seven bucks for these. Look, I would normally not buy them. They were only a US size four. They were a little shoe, but these go for about 60 to 70 bucks and they were in such good condition. I've only paid a very small amount. So I had to get those. They were a really, really nice shoe. Again, another one as well. So these were a size US five. They were a pink Adidas. Again, uh, RND R2, I think is the code for these ones. I'll put some comps up for you to have a look at, but they were in just such good condition. I think they were about $7 for those, so I picked them up as well. Uh, there were some CrossFit shoes in there, so I grabbed these. These should go for about $40 to $50 on eBay. Some Reebok CrossFitters, they were in great condition. Um, I found some Vans, um, just some maroon Vans. I always grab those whenever I can, so I had to nick them. And then uh, some Roshis as well. So these Roshis, uh, women's five and a half, and I should get about 40 to $45 free postage for those. I've paid just five bucks for them. So the shoes really hit home there for me. I've been able to find, what, four or five different pairs of shoes there. The Guitar Hero guitars, the cassette tape player, and all of the DVDs. So 105, absolutely well spent. I think there's upwards of about $600 worth of resale value on eBay out of one thrift store, 30 minutes spent. So op shop number two, just a great run. Let's get on to op shop number three and see if we can't just keep building on with what is so far a pretty good day. Guys, that was a really good run for off shot number three. Actually, a bit of a mini clothing haul. There was a heap of Tommy Hilfiger in there, a lot of button-up shirts. Uh, they were all going for about 10 bucks, so I unfortunately had to pass on those. That Britannica um, set of books, that was about a 30 years worth of history on that, and the comps on eBay were pretty good, but I don't know exactly what the cost was, and I just didn't want to go into it. It would have been a lot of postage as well, so in the end, I did pass on those, but I did find these three T-shirts and shirts that I thought were pretty epic. The first one here was this Mambo Good Times 3 XL men's button up shirt, short sleeve. Have a look at the print on the back though. I thought that was just epic. So I've gone ahead and I've grabbed this for $5 and I didn't even look at the comps on eBay. To be honest, I don't buy a lot of Mambo and I probably need to because I think it goes on to sell pretty well from what I've heard. Um, so I've grabbed this. I'm going to give the Mambo brand a bit of a test uh, try and I thought that was a good one to start with. Um, how good is this? ACDC Shoot to Thrill t-shirt. It's a size 2XL. It's got some wicked print on the back as well from one of their tours in Australia. This is a very sick find. To be honest, I don't find too much of this sort of stuff when I'm out thrifting. I look for it all the time, but I don't always get it. So to find this sort of a t-shirt in the thrift, it's got a Gildan tag on it, which is probably, I don't know, Gildan I don't think is that great. Gildan heavy coffee, uh, heavy cotton. But anyway, I just thought that that's a sick print and I've only paid five bucks, so I'll make a few with it. And then I bought this just because I thought it looked cool. And sometimes that's just what you got to do. Um, this was a Gas Monkey Garage t-shirt, Dallas, Texas. And then it's even got a double print with some detail on the back there as well, Gas Monkey Garage. So look, I've taken a bit of a stab on this one. Again, it's a 2XL. So I thought that was pretty sick and I thought I'd have to buy that as well to make a couple of bucks with it on eBay. So guys, in the end, it was just three items and it was $15 spent. I had a good look 
look around everywhere. The other one as well was those VHS tapes. There was no real comps on eBay. As much as they were super old, 1994 vintage uh, VHS tapes in the kids sort of a, a, a range, I thought I could have maybe got a few dollars, but there was nothing really on eBay to go by and I didn't even know if they were gonna work. So I just passed on that one as well. Um, let's charge on, option number four, let's finish the day on a high. We've got a stack of items. We've done pretty well there with some pretty cool t-shirts. Let's move on, finish the day hard and uh, fingers crossed we can get some good items. Righto guys, last stop shop of the day, all done, and what a great little finish. We've got six great items here to take you through. I'll kick you off with these women's shoes, uh, US eight and a half, have a look at that. The purple colorway, they are a very slick pair of shoes, and they've only cost me $9, so I was super stoked to pick those up. They should go on to sell really well on eBay, I would imagine. Um, I'll go for about 45 to 50 bucks on those. I've also found Northwave as well in the men's cycling shoes. I think they're mountain bike shoes. There's a clip there for uh, whatever bike they go with. I've got to do a bit of research into these, but have a look at them. They're in like new condition. Always look for really good condition, guys, because you're just going to get money on condition alone sometimes. The Northwave brand is a good one to get onto, but definitely look out for cycling shoes because they just go on to sell in a really fast space of time for good money on eBay. Um, I've also found this one as well, which is a really nice Ralph Lauren button-up shirt. It's plain white. I really like this old school logo on it as well, which I'll show you. Um, just a little logo there. Ralph Lauren, I love that one. That is a great shirt and should go on to make 30 bucks for me on eBay. I found some jeans as well, guys. Levi Strauss, these are a pair of 31 waist, 312 shaping slim women's jeans and aren't they in great condition as well? So they should go on to sell for a couple of bucks. If you're interested, obviously let me know through Instagram. I'll give you a really, really good deal. Um, True Religion in the women's range as well. Um, we've got a mid-rise skinny, genie curvy. This is a 29 waist. But this has got tags on it, guys. As you can see there, it's 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 new. Um, so these will go on to sell very well. Look out for the True Religion brand because that sells very well on eBay. And then the last pair to wrap up what has been a really good day is a pair of Levi Strauss 505 men's jeans, 36 waist, 36 length. So they'll go on to sell for me in a pretty quick space of time for around the $40 price point. You can always rely on the Levi Strauss brand. So I've been able to get that as well. So look, there are six items to end the day, apart from obviously all the other items that we've found today. I would say there would be another 30 items grabbed in this four hour period. So a really, really good little run there. I think the day worked out to about 30 odd items. I think I've spent roughly about 170 odd dollars, but for 30 items, 170 bucks, quality items that should all go on to sell really well. I'm pretty pumped about it. What I do here is I get back home, generally around lunchtime, I list them all up onto the spreadsheet and then I go ahead and I start listing and obviously editing this video as well. But sourcing is a major part of my business. If I'm not sourcing well, I'm not selling well. And that's the biggest key to this is you've got to find the really good items at the really good prices and there's never any guarantees so Days like today where I'm able to get a few items is a good day for sure. So I'm really pumped about it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully it motivates you to go out and start thrifting yourself or getting back out into the thrift if you currently do so already. Let me know what you found in the thrift this week because I always love to find hear what you guys are finding. Um, let me know in the comments. Thanks very much for tuning into this one, guys. We'll see you in the next episode, which will be Sunday. We'll do a what's sold. And hopefully there's a few of these items that have gone on to sell. So thanks very much. We'll see you in the next episode.